A captivating stranger, a public place, a moment of connection. And then, nothing. A missed connection. We've all been there. A meet cute played out just last month on Overheard LA, a popular Instagram account that documents the musings of Angelinos through a vast network of followers slash eavesdroppers. An encounter in the Whole Foods condiment section, detailed in Overheard's missed connection love story, prompted a search for the lost crush and success. Ah, the romance. The lovebirds in question are choosing to remain private and anonymous. Our followers are already sending us everything they see and hear, so it just made sense to use our platform to make this happen," Overheard founder Jesse Margolis said in an email. Plus, who in LA doesn't want to be quizzed on their knowledge of small dog breeds? A Frenchie named Oscar was one of the key elements of the hunt. Margolis posted to the Instagram story after receiving an earnest and sweet, direct message from one of the involved parties, albeit knowing the chance of connecting them was small. If it doesn't work out, at least we'd have fun. Messages and potential leads started pouring in. There were DM exchanges about the mystery man's identity, and dog breeds, and brands offering to pay for dates and more for the eventually reunited couple. When we finally made the connection and confirmed from both parties it was just magic, Margolis said. He's right, though, usually, missed connections are a whole lot less successful, not to mention less conspicuous. The missed connection, a fleeting moment with a stranger that leaves you wishing you'd worked up the nerve to strike up a conversation. Long predates the internet, with LA Weekly and The Village Voice among those publishing their community's missed connections in print. Classified ads and posted notices date back to 18th century America, ancient Rome and beyond. The birth of Craigslist and its casual encounters forum took the practice of documenting missed connections to a new level. Personals graced Craigslist from 1995 until 2018, when casual encounters shut down in accordance with new sex trafficking prevention laws. The missed connection section lives on, but it doesn't offer quite the same sweet yearning as the casual encounters posts, cough, cough, it's raunchy as hell. Enter Alex Lee. Full-time copywriter, part-time web designer hobbyist and hopeless romantic. Lee founded the online personal site in May to fill what he saw as a niche left by Craigslist and to give people a space to submit missed connections truly based in romance. Ever since Craigslist shut down their casual encounters section, I've noticed that a lot of the casual encounter posts were spilling over into the missed connections section, Lee said, adding that their quality was noticeably lower. And so I thought it would be cool if there was a dedicated website just for missed connections. So that's what he created.